talking, being a little minority in this male dominant conspiracy theorist world is not easy, not easy, not easy. But I'm not here. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I would tell the truth. I would deliver the truth. I would deliver the latest gossip. Gossip. I don't care. I don't care. No filters. No filters. I'm always so much so that you guys. This is. This is. Show. 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 This is a video that I always wanted to do. I know some of you may be bored to tears with this particular subject because if it ain't celebrity gossip, a lot of you don't really care. But for those of you who came for some brain food, grab a snack and let's go in. As we all know and were told that Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492, well that's been debunked, shredded, and burned. No one believes that crap. But then history scholars started saying that the Vikings discovered America around the year 1000 AD. Well, that got debunked right away. And then there was a rumor that Asians were the ones 15,000 years ago. It seems they walked across the Bering Land Bridge that used to connect what is now the U.S. state of Alaska and Siberia 15,000 years ago. Ocean levels were much lower and the land between the continents was hundreds of kilometers wide. But there isn't any proof of this, just a bunch of myths. But however, most of us were told that the Indians discovered America. Well, people, I hate to tell you, none of them didn't. I know, shocking. Guess who really discovered America? Yes, ancient Egyptians. It seems to be more findings of them arriving in America first before anyone else. But the stories quickly covered up and or are not publicized as much. For example, it was some findings of them in the Grand Canyon, but hey, it gets deeper. It seems that a man named G.E. Kincaid was among the first to have entered the cave when he was working for S.A. Jordan. Visitors were restricted from entering thereafter, especially after President Woodrow Wilson in 1919 signed slash created the Grand Canyon National Park Act. So now FBI agents now guard the cave. Oh yes, guess what? They found a gold Egyptian shrine holding lotus flowers which originated from Egypt. The Egyptian shrine was in the first cross tunnel in the tunnel which was the exact same location that the Shriners were in the Valley of the Kings tunnels cities where Egyptians lived. Before the kings of ancient Egypt began to build pyramids and above ground you know cities in Egypt as we all know the pyramids were constructed between 2600 to 2611 BC. Oh yes, this is why the architectural design of the pyramid is pretty much seen all over the world. I bet now you're wondering how they were able to travel so far. Well, believe it or not, the false tale of the Wright brothers <laughs> being the first who invented the first airplane, that's complete bullshit. The invention of the airplane was invented thousands of years by the Egyptians. You can see this carved on their walls and so on and so forth. Now let's go deep. People seem to get confused and think that all blacks and so on are all from Africa. No, and this story proves that as well. You see, 70% of all black people DNA are mixed with European. Why? Because blacks are the original Europeans. They travel from Africa to Europe and even Asia, hence the story I mentioned earlier. People also seem to think that all blacks have rough and tightly curled hair. Not true, some blacks have straight, kinky, and wavy hair. You see, blacks comes in all different shapes and colors. It seems and have been proven that black cultures are found all over the world and are pretty much proven that, more so than any other race. And you wonder why the jealousy and the racism. Heck, that's why. Listen to this. It was once a test of a black man's gene, and they traced his gene 338,000 <laughs> years ago. This was part of the DNA that was labeled as junk. Oh, I'm still not done. It gets deeper. You see, it was upon Africa being taken over by the British and their whites soon after the last living pharaohs. It's all in the Bible, whereas God warns in chapters 29 and 30 that was read of God sending a prophet Ezekiel 
to deliver a crucial message to Egypt. He said this, Set thy face against Pharaoh king of Egypt. God instructs Ezekiel, and prophesy against him, and against all Egypt. Ezekiel 29, 2. The biblical record shows that Ezekiel was dispatched to Egypt in the early 6th century, and that he delivered his message to Pharaoh Apres, Hophra in Hebrew, the fourth king of the 26th dynasty of Egypt. Under the rule of Apres, Egypt was a powerful, influential civilization. In fact, Egypt's presence was so impressive, Apres, like his forefathers, thought himself king of the world, as powerful as God himself. Pharaoh Apres considered the Nile River, the source of Egypt's material greatness, to be his own creation, and he declared himself the god of the Nile. Drunk on arrogance, Apres had lost sight of Egypt's history with God and the Israelites. So God dispatched Ezekiel to warn Apres of where his egotism was leading and to tell him that God would expose and destroy him, and that in Egypt's devastation the world would learn the ultimate source of Egypt's power. In verse 3, God tells Ezekiel, Speak, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh king of Egypt, the great dragon that leath in the midst of his rivers, which hath said, my river is mine own, and I have made it for myself. God was going to show Pharaoh Apres exactly who created the Nile and gave Egypt all its power. In verse 4, God tells the Pharaoh, I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish of thy rivers to stick unto thy scales, and I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers, and all the fish of thy rivers shall stick unto thy scales. God said he would expose Pharaoh Apres as a fraud much like he had exposed the gods of Egypt during the ten plagues nearly a thousand years earlier. God continues his warning in verses 8-10. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will bring a sword upon thee, and cut off man and beast out of thee, and the land of Egypt shall be desolate and waste, and they shall know that I am the Lord, because he hath said, The river is mine, and I have made it. Behold, therefore I am against thee, and against thy rivers, and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate, from the tower of Syene even unto the border of Ethiopia. In verse 19, Ezekiel even reveals to Apres that he would be attacked by the armies of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. In scripture after scripture of chapters 29 and 30, God warns the Pharaoh that Egypt's destruction at the hands of the Babylonians and Persians would be so disastrous that it would never fully recover. Then, in verse 15, God makes a prophecy that would change Egypt forever. Regarding Egypt's future after the destruction, he says explicitly, It shall be the basest of the kingdoms, neither shall it exalt itself any more above the nations, for I will diminish them that they shall no more rule over the nations. I mean, God could have not been any clearer in these verses. He promised that after the 6th century BC, Egypt would never again be a major ruling power. Shortly after, well, you know what happened, blacks became slaves and was sent all over the world, whereas other languages were spoken and they couldn't understand any of it. And they became ruled over and have since just now in a more hidden and intelligent way but like the bible says the new city and a true king shall rise and there are already signs of this we'll leave the links below so you can check them out oh and my black people please educate yourself on your history because if you believe that king james was white you're sadly mistaken think about it where was its original origin and the place of events in the bible wake up people Oh, please don't mistake this as prejudice. This is Truth Show, remember? Please subscribe and like. Bye.
my website. You can get an inside look at a listed video and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script. You can also see the making of one of my videos. Mm -hmm. Even have a personal chat with me and much more. So become part of the Truth Show family. There is no fee, just donation. You can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes. Oh, don't forget to follow me and or like me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to listen while working out or driving, listen to me on SoundCloud and Spreaker. All the links are below. Hope to see you all soon. Don't miss it. Ladies, get your life.